What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back for another round of Jenny LeClue. Now, I immediately forgot what we were doing last time. Oh yeah, so we can't get past that. Okay, so we need to go to the right. Always good to double check. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I didn't show up before. I had to move over a little bit further to the right. There we go. About time. Is there anything important? No. <laughs> That's okay. when I was about to question if we were going the right way. Well, that was convenient. What the hell is going on? Jenny, please hurry! He's coming! I'm going as fast as I can. Also, hi, Mrs. LeClue! My mom isn't here. Oh, no! What happened? Jenny? Jenny, are you okay? Abandoned by her mother, hunted by a killer, covered in filthy water. Jenny LeCrew was most certainly not okay. Just let me focus on not getting brutally murdered. Dr. Benderson says it's always better to get things out in the open. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Yeah, as much as I love Susie, it is now is not the time for a therapy session. But there is enough time to, to grab these collectibles. Okay, so that's the ladder we came up on. Okay. So this is convenient. Very dangerous. Oh, goody, we're back in the mines. The collectible is, so I'm just gonna let it go. Probably another gallery item. The path ahead was shrouded in darkness. I sure wish I still had my flashlight. Was Jenny ready for the next chapter of her adventure? Gonna have to be. Well, that doesn't look good. Is it gonna explode? What? An unfamiliar feeling began to ferment in the back of Jenny's mind. Doubt. Why did her mother act so suspiciously? Where did she go in such a hurry? Jenny had expected answers, but now each step forward felt as if the ground were crumbling beneath her feet. Can any of my ghost friends help me? Spooky. Ooh, there they go. You can get a ride. Jenny! Are you okay? Oh, everything's super down here. Just wandering around in total darkness, trying not to get killed. Oh, well, if you need some light, there's one on your walkie talkie. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? You said not to disturb you. <laughs> That girl will be the death of me. 
Jenny fumbled in the darkness until she found the switch on her walkie-talkie. Whoa. Jenny stood perilously close to the edge of a deep pit. Just in time. If Susie hadn't interrupted her when she did... I'm going to have to jump to that minecart. And it kills me that your mom just left you. But even if Jenny made the jump, she couldn't be sure it would support her weight. If it was going to fall, it would have done it by now. Is that my only option? I can't go back and forth. Okay. See? Steady as a rock. Okay, keep moving, honey. That's enough near-death experiences for one day. I should hope so. And you drank all that coffee today? Your heart must be racing. Let's see if we can find this one. Here we go. Tunnel 13. Unlucky for some. Now where did your mom go? She obviously knew of a better way to get out of here. Oh great, bones! as she realized the true scale of the tragedy that had befallen the miners. I'm standing in the world's biggest tomb. And if none of the miners got out, how am I supposed to? Fortunately, Jenny had Susie Glatz. Uh, get help, please. Susie, Susie, come in! Thank goodness! I was worried you dropped your walkie-talkie. The line just went dead. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway... I need... Her mouth went dry. <laughs> I need your... How could one word be so difficult to say? I need your... help. Jenny felt a wave of nausea as the words left her mouth. Susie? Are you there? It would be an honor to assist you in any way I can, Jenny LeClue. See, Susie's the best. I'm in Tunnel 13. I've reached a dead end. I need you to find me another way out. Of course. Just give me a moment. Found it. You're close to the extraction chamber, where they transfer crystals to the surface for processing. There's bound to be an exit there, but it's a long way up. You're going to have to climb. We can do it. We are so strong. No problem. Oh, and Susie. Thanks. Extraction chamber. This is definitely it. We're putting a lot of faith in these ladders that are at, at the least decades old. Aha. It's stuck. Need to get a, a better look at where I am. Okay. Oh, nope. 
Back over here. Oh, sorry. I need to... Need to push the letter keys for the enter key. Aha! I was just going to climb over it, but I, I guess we needed to take it with us. There we go. We're doing really well. It looks like it might still work. <laughs> oh, what were you expecting? I was better off in the dark. Well, we sure don't want to miss this gallery art. <laughs> oh, she has the funniest scream. Well, we might just miss this gallery art. There we go. That was satisfying. But what did it do? It's a pulley of some kind. The rope must be attached to something nearby. Break our ankles really quickly, then go down this rickety ladder. And let's take the barrel with us. Whoops. Enter, then push. I was just about to say, well, I guess we wouldn't find any postcard bits down here, but here we are. Oh. Uh, was not expecting that. Okay. There we go. Last piece. Perfect. Hmm. Maybe I need to go back down to where the other lever was. Uh, another one, come on. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can move this lever that was down here. Unless I it's somewhere completely different. I'm just going back the way I came. I think I went too far. Yeah, can I pull this now? Convenient. Oh, now I can use the minecart to jump on it and get to that other broken rail. Whoops, nope, Jenny, honey. 
There we go. We got this. We got this. Or no, maybe not. Okay, maybe we need to go back up another level. I thought, silly me, I thought we could just jump up from there. Don't break. Oh, hi, friend. Thank you for assisting me. See, our little ghost friends are just looking out for us. Oh my gosh, are we at the exit? Oh, we did it. Shafts of moonlight shone through cracks in the ceiling. Okay, we're not quite out yet. The extraction chamber. Ouch. That was too close. I better get moving. Okay, yes, yeah, so we'll need to climb up here. Let's check over here first. Oh. Oh no, we need to go up. Never mind, we have to double back. Somewhere to hide and fast. High up in the air, out of sight, covered on all sides. The minecart was an ideal hiding place. Time to look for gallery art. We're on it. We gotta go. Jenny peered over the edge of the minecart. She was confident the man in black wouldn't spot her, but she'd need to remain perfectly still. 
even the slightest sound could give her away. Seconds of absolute silence. Something's going to happen, isn't it? Jenny! I just wanted to say, I think we had a really good breakthrough just now. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I can feel our friendship growing. I know it's a silly thing to say, but... Susie! is starting to run out. He won't be long before he reaches the jail and realizes my mom isn't there. And something told her he wouldn't be very pleased. Are you trying to get me killed? Sorry. I just wanted to let you know I'm here for you whenever you need me. That's very nice, Susie. But none of that matters if I'm dead. Don't call me. I'll call you. They must weigh a ton each. I can see a light up there. But the ladder was out of reach. How do we reach it? Sticker Club, what are you doing down here? Why'd you leave that here? Fragments of quartz crystal littered the room. They're beautiful. She held one in her hands. It'd be a good souvenir if it wasn't so heavy. Are they heavier than these rocks? Another cave-in. Another dead end. The shattered skull of a long-deceased miner looked up at Jenny. Poor guy. April 3rd, my dear Clara, I write this letter knowing you will never read it. Everyone is dead. I will be next. My wound is infected, the smell attracts the rats, and I've lost the energy to keep them at bay. The men in suits will tell you this was our fault. We disobeyed orders and didn't follow safety procedures. You won't believe them. You will fight for the truth. But you will never know the truth, and that pains me the most. They left us here to die. But their great plan for Arthurton will be his downfall. I am sorry to leave you, my dear. Affectionately, Samuel. Left your little doodles. Is that an eyeball? So he's down there for 12 days. That was somebody's dad. He was still alive and no one came to help him. He never got to say goodbye. Oh, Jenny, she getting teary-eyed. Jenny knew exactly how that felt. The Council of Three blamed the workers to protect their secret. Jenny folded up the letter and placed it in her pocket. I'll find your family, Samuel, and deliver it to them personally. And I won't rest until the whole town knows the truth. 
Good girl, Jenny. Something tells me she made a note about how much the crystals weigh and the rocks weigh. something. Oh, let's break our ankles. I'm not sure. See, we're, we're like, we need to weigh down the cart. Some way, maybe. There, come on. Well, that seemed like a pointless venture. And is there something over here that I can drag? Barrels, nothing. Structurally unsound, just like everything else around here. Hey, that didn't stop you before. There are two minecarts attached together by a system of pulleys. After all these tremors, I'm amazed they're still hanging up there. Okay, so we're gonna have to balance them. Like a well-oiled machine, Jenny LeClue's brilliant mind kicked into gear. A plan had started to form. How can oh. I reach the ladder? How can I reach the ladder? It's all taut, but falling. It's tall, but falling apart. It's the barrel. It's about as tall as me, attached to a pulley system that moves closer to the ground when I jump inside. The rocks are big and heavy, too big for me to lift or move. The ladder is too high to reach, and the crystals might be pocket-sized, but they are surprisingly heavy. So I could potentially carry them. We're going to go with the crystals, the minecart, and the ladder. Stand on the minecart to reach the ladder. But first, I need to get it down. And I know exactly how to do it. The minecart is connected to a pulley. When I jumped inside, it lowered, but it didn't reach the floor. First, I'll climb to the top of the rickety scaffolding. Then I'll jump in the minecart with my pockets full of crystals. The extra weight will carry me all the way to the floor. At the bottom, I'll climb out and push the minecart underneath the ladder. Finally, I'll use the added height to reach the ladder. Then it's a straight shot to freedom. See, we were on the right track. We just had to trigger some events. Can I just use these crystals that are up at the top, or do I have to get more crystals uh, down below? Here we go. They don't need to be too heavy, just heavy enough. Hmm. Maybe I need more crystals. Oh, not enough. Oh, are there any more crystal shards? 
just in case. Okay, nope. More crystals in my pockets. Hopefully, this will be enough. Okay, good. I was wondering, like, is there gonna be a fourth one we have to find? But okay, we got all three of them, so we should be good. Another sphere, yep. Well, a radio transmitter, excuse me. Another transmitter on Glatz Core property. Susie denied her family's involvement, but I can't imagine they don't know about this. I think her dad might know. And by extension, her mom, because of Susie is her cousin, and Susie's mom was calling uh, Jenny's grandfather by his first name. I think it was like, what, Henry? That's not his daughter, so Susie's dad and Jenny's mom are siblings. So if he is aware, if, if, the, if Susie's dad is aware of the things happening, you know, within the Glass Foundation, then by extension, Jenny's mom would also know. It's all connected. Jenny opened her eyes and rubbed her aching head. Uh, was I not was I supposed? For? Was I not supposed to make that jump? Things hadn't quite gone according to plan. I guess my calculations were slightly off. Fortunately, no, I was just Jenny dumb. found herself in a familiar place. This is the tunnel where I first came in. Unfortunately, someone else had heard the commotion. Uh, can we run? Time to go. Yes, agreed. No time for gallery art. We're on a mission. I probably could have uh, looked around for the gallery art and had no consequences, but it's getting tense. Oh, and we got our key card that we made. He 
Here goes nothing. Welcome back, S32. Access level Z Alpha granted. Disarming Blast Door 13A. For your safety, please stand clear. Jenny paused. She was finally here. Could it be true? Was her father really on the other side of this door? The man she'd lost forever. She would have given anything to bring him back. What would she say to him? How would she feel when she saw him? Of all the puzzles she'd solved, every obstacle she'd climbed, and every leap of faith she'd made, this was the scariest moment of all. Mom should be here. She needed her. She needed someone. Well, apparently your mom found another way out and just left you there, knowing full well the dangers of everything. Maybe even Susie. We're not going to solve anything by just standing here. Didn't mean to click that fast. Arthurton had slowly revealed its secrets to Jenny. And now she faced the final chapter. Gathering her courage, she took a deep breath. This is it, Jenny. And stepped into the darkness once more. Dad? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode of Jenny LeClue here. Just when I thought things couldn't get any more tense or crazy, it just blows all my expectations out of the water. But thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!